hamjambo wa Kenya wenzangu na karibuni ningependa kuwazungumzia asubuhi ya leo and to make certain things clear about what is going on in our country i have heard rumors and rumors are dangerous of people saying that uh, i may be working with regarding ashagwa and i would like to correct it here and to look you in the faces and tell you that i am not working with regarding ashagwa and i have no interest whatsoever of working with regarding ashagwa and i have a good reason why now respectfully speaking and with a lot of respect for his office that he holds Rigathi Gashagwa does not represent the new Kenya that we are seeking to build. He's just as corrupt as the other leaders. You've seen what he did with the counties. You've seen what he did with Nyeri and with Bungoma. You've seen what has happened to his corruption cases when he came to power. You've seen how he made it to be deputy president in Kenya using money that was obtained through corruption by paying it into the William Ruto campaign. This person does not represent the values that we are trying to instill in Kenya. Secondly, we are trying to kick off tribal politics from our country. Tunajaribu kubadilisha mambo ya ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na kama tunajaribu kuondoa ufisadi na kuondoa ukabila, hatuwezi kumtoa William Ruto na tuweke someone who is worse ambaye anaitwa Rigathi Gashagwa. Kwa hivyo mimi sina haja ya kufanya kazi na Rigathi Gashagwa simjui hatujai kukutana na sina any need ya kupatana naye kwa hivyo watu wa Mount Kenya nataka muelewe kwamba nyinyi ndio chakula na nataka muelewe kwamba kuna uwezekano mkubwa kwamba hiyo kitu ambayo William Ruto anafanyia Rigathi Gashagwa ili mpe Rigathi Gashagwa sympathy inaweza kuwa ni mpango wa William Ruto mwenyewe Anaweza kuwa wameelewana na huyo huyo Rigathi Gashagwa kwamba wewe utajifanya kwamba na kuumiza ili watu wako wakupende ili wa solidify uniuzie au watu in 2027 watu wa Mount Kenya msikue wajima mumeibiwa ya kutosha it is time for you to wake up and demand better governance yeye anasema ati nyinyi mlipokea seven cabinet positions ati sasa muko sawa i have talked to the people of Mount Kenya na hawako sawa They are not receiving services, they are not receiving development. Development projects in Mount Kenya zimesimama. If you go to the rest of the country, hata afadhali sasa Mount Kenya, you go to Siaya, a whole constituency doesn't even have one tarmac road. So kwa hivyo tusidanganywe tena wa Kenya na hiyo siasa ya mchezo kama vile Ruto pia alisema kwamba anaumizwa na uhuru. Watu tukampa sympathy votes, you can see what he is doing to our country. Mambo ya sympathy imekwisha na mambo ya ukabila imekwisha. Kwa hivyo mtu yoyote ambaye anapanga siasa kiukabila, hiyo mambo ajue it will not fly in 2027. Let me move on to something else and say there is this conversation about what the youth of Kenya should be doing. Tumeitwa formless, tumeitwa leaderless. Let me tell the youth of Kenya this msipigane na uongozi wa William Ruto kama hamna option Don't fight corruption by corrupt governors, corrupt MPs, corrupt president and corrupt ministers if you don't have an option and if you don't have a plan of how you will have another system to replace that one Power hates a vacuum If you are want to remove the president William Ruto from power for being corrupt and for killing Kenyans and for being a person of impunity and for doing every evil thing that is written in the book of evil then you must have an alternative you must have an alternative president you must have an alternative deputy president you must have an alternative ministers you must have alternative MPs other than these ones that we have in parliament you must have alternatives and where do you get the alternatives and when do you get the alternatives now let me tell you It is time for leaders of integrity to rise up. Kenya kuna watu wazuri. Kuna watu wachapa kazi. Kuna watu Kenya wako na values. Kuna watu Kenya wako na maadili mema. Lakini wanaogopa siasa kwa sababu wanaandua politics is a dirty game. Wanaogopa siasa kwa sababu wakikuja kwa wananchi, wanawainchi wanawaomba pesa. 
Sasa mmefanya kwamba wale watu pekee ambao wanaweza kushinda uchaguzi ni wale wanasiasa ambao wameiba mali ya umma. It is time for us to change our politics. Ili tupee watu ambao wako na uwezo nafasi. Watu ambao wako na maadili mema nafasi ya kuongoza taifa letu kwa vitengo mbalimbali kuanzia kwa MCA, MP, Women Rep, Senator, Governor mpaka kwa Rais. Na huwezi kubadilisha Kenya bila kukua na chama cha kisiasa. Amuwezi kuingia katika siasa na muweze kuleta mabadiliko ya kweli na makubwa ama kuwa na majority kwa bunge bila chama. Lazima muwe na chama na hicho chama kiwe ni chenu mkipiganie mkiuze mashinani ili mkitumie kama gari la kubadilisha siasa Kenya. Wengine wenu mmesema kwamba ni mapema sana kutengeneza chama kwamba UDA ilitengenezwa miezi nane kabla ya uchaguzi. Ningependa mtofautishe kati ya UDA na chama ambacho mtakitengeneza nyinyi wa Kenya. UDA ilikuwa na pesa ya mali ya umma ambayo ilikuwa imeibwa billions. Kwa hivyo hata wangeaza chama leo na uchaguzi ni kesho. Lazima wangeweza kuwa na mvuto mkubwa kwa sababu wangenunua wabunge, wangenunua the strongest candidates na pesa walikuwa nao ya kuweka structures. Nyinyi wa Kenya hamuna chama na hamjakiweka fedha na unguvu ya kuweza kubishana na hii corrupt cartel ambao wako. Kwa hivyo lazima muanze mapema, muweke structures mapema, mjijenge mapema, mbuild financing capacity mapema. Sasa sio lazima mimi nifanye hivyo, hata wewe ambao unanitazama unaweza kufanya hivyo. It doesn't have to be me. Na si lazima mimi nipate kiti ya siasa. Hata si I may not even be interested. I'm okay doing business and other things. But if the people of Kenya ask me, nikio nikiambiwa na wa Kenya na nione kweli wa Kenya wamesema na si mkenya mmoja ama watu ambao wananichocha tu kunidanganya. Wa Kenya wamesema kwamba niishikilie mahala fulani ama wadhifa fulani. Siwezi kukataa. That is a very great patriotic duty that nobody should deny. So Kenyans lazima tuanze kujipanga mapema. And we should not fear politics. Kwa sababu the youth of Kenya wameambiwa kwamba politics is a dirty game. Politics is a dirty game because dirty people are playing it in a dirty way. So the question is should we continue being content creators and civil rights activists? Some people can continue doing content creation because it educates and it entertains. Some people can continue doing civil rights movement. But we also need to raise leaders. Because why should we be condemning the leaders who are in power saying they are corrupt, they kill Kenyans, they, 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 they have no ethics, they have no values, they lie to Kenyans, they say this. Yet we don't have an alternative. If we don't have an alternative, Let's leave them alone. Let us start building the alternative now. Na sio lazima muamue sahi. You don't have to decide right now who is going to challenge your corrupt governor or who is going to challenge your MP. All I'm saying is let people rise. Kila mtu anze kujipanga. Wale wanataka urais, we need to have even 100 people or 200 people saying they want to be presidents of Kenya. People of integrity. They should start rising, they should start organizing themselves, they should start preparing and even connecting with the ground and making their networks. Some people have also asked me why I'm not working with the opposition. That is uh, the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, the Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, the Honorable Peter Munya, the Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, uh, the Honorable Martha Karua, and uh, those people who are in the opposition. My answer is simple. They don't represent the change that we want in Kenya. The opposition in Kenya has gone to bed with government. These people are even driving cars that are fueled by William Ruto himself. Some of them, their hospital bills for their kin are being paid by William Ruto himself. William Ruto is paying rent for some of them. So why would I join them? It will be a betrayal of Kenyans. I will be joining them to betray Kenyans. 
These people are one other moral authority say here for question government. That's why they cannot question anything. Because they themselves, they have companies, they've registered that is doing business with government. They are earning money from corruption. Those opposition leaders. In fact, the reason they are making noise and complaining is because some of them, I'm not saying all of them, some of them have not been given an opportunity to steal. So, joining them, ni kujichafua, ni kupoteza mwelekeo, na ni kuumiza ndoto ya wa Kenya ya Kenya mpya. Au watu hawa represent Kenya mpya tunayo itaka. Na ni kweli kwamba wako na ushawishi mkubwa. Wengine wao wako na kabila, makabila ambayo yanawafuata. Kwamba huyu ni wakabila fulani, huyu ni wakabila fulani, usipo shikana na huyu, hiyo kabila haita kusupport. I want to say this, mambo ya ukabila mi nimemalizana na yo. Leo wa Kenya wakisema ni simame kiti, na niende ni pate kura ishirini. Lakini hizo kura ishirini ni za watu ambao hawataki ukabila. I will die with my 20 people and let the tribal person win with the 7 million people. Mi sina shida. I'm just trying to represent a new way of doing things. And it's not do or die for me. I just want to show that it can be done. It will be done. And even if we don't win it now, we need to plant the seed of change and start watering it. So those people have told me that um, we liked you when you were doing the vampire diaries alone. You should continue doing it alone. When the media was calling me civil... Uh, uh, activists, uh, political activists, others who are calling me content creator and what have you, I want to assure them this. I will continue exposing the ills in this government and I'll continue being a source of truth. But at the same time, I want to encourage the people of Kenya, whether you are a Gen Z, whether you are a millennial or a baby boomer, anzeni kujipanga kuwa alternative leaders in our country. Kama amuna alternative, tafadhali wachawa wafisadi waendele. Because there is no way there is going to be a vacuum. Lakini kama umejiamini, na unajua unaweza, ile kitu tu hauna ni pesa, nataka welewe hivu. Tayari tumeanza civic education ya kubadilisha mind ya voter wa Kenya. We need to change the way Kenyan voter thinks. Wawache kudemand pesa kwa anasiasa ama ukabila, wakue watu ambao wanaangalia mbele maendeleo. Kwa hivyo ni wakati sasa wakuanza ayo mabadiliko. If not today, then when will we do it? If not you who is watching me, then who will do it? It's time for you to rise and change Kenya. Kwa hivyo msiogope siyasa, msiseme it's a dirty game, msiogope kuparticipate, msikae tu kwa Twitter, ama kwa Facebook, ama kwa TikTok, kila siku mna complain, but you don't want to step up and step in and give alternative leadership. That will be useless. Hakuna kazi tutakuwa tunafanya. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again. Uh, luckily, we found an office which will be the, um, the headquarters of our movement. Continue supporting us in every way that you can. Ili tuweze kupanga Kenya mpia. Mkiwacha kuni support, haina shida pia. Mimi tarudi tu nyumbani ni lale. Then we see Kenya head wherever it goes. But if you continue supporting me, I'll continue being a person of integrity and I'll put my foot best forward. Asante na mungu wa baringi.